lengths in front, winner at about 13 to 1. Having rescued fashions from the sports page, I'm going to appeal to you, Jasmine, to help me explain this picture of fashion contrasts. I suppose the silks and taffetas which Grandmother used to wear give you a great laugh, or don't they? You mean that we've been bringing back a lot of the old fashions? That's true, but not these, please. <laughs> I can see you riding your bicycle up to Alexandra Palace every day in the fawn tweed tailor-made of the period. However, never mind about that. What about the sports girl of the 80s? She's good, isn't she? The river girl especially, complete with paddle. How do you like this? A flannel bathing costume trimmed with lace. Uh-uh. Just for contrast, or at least that's the idea, he has a close-fitting white and black swimming suit. But that's uh, modern, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Well, I think it's a lot of fun, anyway. They're all going to be shown at the Glasgow exhibition. Did you know that? But this, of course, is the charity show for King's College Hospital Centenary. What about the 1927 style of outdoor dress? That hurts a bit. I seem to remember 1927, but I don't suppose you can. They call these skeletons in the cupboard. And that's a genuine crinoline with scarlet flannel drawers underneath. Oh, and then what? A bustle plus camisole and petticoat. Look here, I'm getting a bit nervous. I think I'd better leave you to it. You have the last word. Well, if I'm to have the last word, it's thank goodness for the present and let's pray for the future. <laughs> <laughs>